Usually you complain about the other one, not that one. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. He never complains about the other one, but he always complains about Link Rebo. <laughs> like, oh, why did I have to get that? <laughs> On attack declaration, and activating manifestation to target safe in the graveyard. 
They're all little pokes. Mm -hmm. little. Back to us. <laughs> I know, little pokes. Uh, that resolves. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. so I think I No, that was a better hit. Actually, the same thing, just Actually, the chain spoofing. Yeah, that works. They shuffle the back and still the And it just has to be the last thing. Or you can do that again. I guess the one person you want to ask is the one who plays Alter Guys all the time. Then on the resolution, this is actually the trap card. That's what the deck is supposed to be in a row. There you go. I won the last round. I won the first round. Oh, it's Kitty, right? Mm -hmm. Starting here, Prohibition, Mass Change, Three Malicious. Prohibition's your side, right? Yeah. It's your three malicious from starting in. Still out to He set one card. She attributed from malicious. He set one, one card and he passed. So then I was able to do. I had Ferris, so I sent one malicious. I did the whole Ferris combo. Got Stratos out. Search Dynatag. Use Polly with Dynatag. The second one from my hand. Send the grave to Stealthy up top. Just one face down. Search Honesty. I saw him put Shadow Mist pitch. And then I don't know what Shadow Mist's effect is. Just search a girl. Just search here. Or if it's special summon, it's search a match. Okay. Uh, you were kidding with this. So, uh, the Dystopia, the Honest Mist, three monsters to attack, and the Mass Change to change into Dark Buffer in another attack. With three malicious in the game. So, 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 so you should get it. You should get it. Yeah, I'm thinking three packs. Three and two. Actually, the people above are in front of me. One and three. Who won? And that is a board. That's an ultra guys board. And he had the horsey that stops battle phase. <laughs> I hate that horse. Yeah. I really do hate that horse. It's like you could develop the whole board, then they summon the horse. Yeah. <laughs> that's, an, that's annoying. Sure. Yeah, it's because once you have uh, Alter Guys Protocol out, their effect can't be stopped. So it's just like, man. Eh. If I activate a trap card while it's in my hand, I can special summon it from my hand. And then if it's special summon, it doesn't have to be by that effect. It can be by other effects like Monster. Uh, I can special summon an Alter Guys monster from my deck in defense, but for that whole turn, I can summon. Should be four Second game. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. You order from a store. You get the you bought a store. You, no, no, no. You can buy the whole thing from the store. They'll pre-order for you and get you the whole thing as long as you pre-pay. And you would do that with OTS packs? Oh, no, no, not OTS. So that's no. what I mean. I, I've seen people open up cardboard boxes and they have like 50 to like 75 OTS packs and they open all 75. I don't understand how And those stores are going to lose their license. If they figure out what store. Yeah. Or some people buy them on eBay and stuff. So I don't know. Yeah, like I don't said, they can, they can lose their license. No, these are sealed boxes I've seen people open, so I don't know. Yeah, they, if they're they find like, out what store it's coming from, they'll be like $750. Yeah, if they find out what stores they're doing it, those stores will lose their ability to host their yeah. license tournaments. That's what I figured it was, though. You're not allowed to sell it. There's one guy that I watched, though. He's got a stack, but he's been saving up for the past year. Oh, yeah, I, I actually used to do that, like, uh, when I'd get packs. 
Yeah. And I kept buying them. I let them stack up for a while. And I would wait forever to open them. I don't have the patience for that. That's how I pulled a, my Cyber Dragon. Um, the Walmart where I live back at home. Not out here, but back at home. Is that airport? No. Uh, way out in Oregon, I don't know. Oh. So like an hour away from here. Um, was selling the 5Ds collect with a premium collection. You know, those small tins that came on all the bills back. They were selling those. They had five of them. So I like bought two and then just sitting in front of them. Like, they're 5Ds that are they're older. Mm-hmm. And they're sealed too. So. Don't know them yet. Maybe something will happen that will make it. Yeah. I looked at all the cards in there and there's some valuable, but it's not worth it. I think some of the biggest uh, the biggest uh, card values you could probably get would be out of Chaos Impact. Chaos Impact has some really good stuff. What I really want to find is if Walmart had these out, that's what acid comes in. Master your acid comes in that. And that's hmm. super old. If I found those in Walmart or somewhere, go to uh, go to Meyer. Yeah, Meyer has a really nice habit down there, toy area in the back wall, where they carry just dual power and random soccer things. Yeah. They'll just still have all that stuff. Because a lot of people uh, just don't my shop. My friend there. works at Walmart, and he sent me pictures before he's went back into the stock, mm-hmm. and like sent me all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And there's so much old stuff because they buy it and they just don't put it out. So they randomly put out old stuff every once in a while. Like there was a Noble Knights uh, premium collection, big forty dollar box. Mm. Like those older Cyber Dragon structured decks randomly appear. Um, Everybody want that, wants that. Wants that mechanical deck. Mm-hmm. That structure was good. That super poly in it. Mm-hmm. Common poly. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, they have all this old stuff. And then I was just like how Common Ash is worth the exact same price as the Dual Devastator Ash any other ashes other than the original secret but then I was looking and I was looking at the picture that he showed me and there was um what is that set it's the purple set with chaos deals on it they still have a booster box just sitting there I was like dude you gotta put that on the shelf because like Walmart doesn't care they don't know what's going on with card prices right? like, you gotta put that on the shelf and let me know what day there was a time when Walmart uh, was hosting Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments really? yes there was a time that's interesting. Yeah, this was a time back long ago when I was younger. You probably were in elementary school. <laughs> I know Barnes and Noble used to host tournaments because that's where I'd go to. When I was there was even some church bookstores that were hosting you go tournaments. <laughs> Barnes and Noble would host them and they'd give you out a packet if you won a game. You got a if you won a game in a specific way or if you did something specific, you got a stamp. Once you filled it out, you got like um, limited edition cards. Or something like that. So I would go there and win that and get free stuff basically because it was free to enter too. Oh, I got like a winged dragon of bra the one time from it. It was pretty cool. Man.